So here's part two of this where I talk about uh, the wide grip uh, shoulder press uh, when I use it. As I mentioned in the podcast with Lawrence, uh, I'm, I'm cautious about using it with anybody. Um, and even when I find somebody who has good shoulder health and no reasons to contraindicate it, even then I'll still always pre-exhaust it, meaning that I will um, do something like tricep extensions to make sure that their arms are tired enough that the absolute load is pretty light, even for that person, um, so that even though their shoulders are working very hard, the loads are, are, are very well controlled. Um, the handles that I always use are these right here. So notice I'm not using these handles back here, okay? I'm always gonna do here. I just don't, I don't, we can get the same benefit in my opinion and I don't feel any justification for going into more what we would call horizontal abduction to that extreme range. If I can get, I think this is a good compromise. Um, the other thing I'll do for most people is I'll lift the seat a few more clicks, maybe up to five holes up. And then I'll gap the weight stack three holes up, two or three holes up. So now, if you look at me directly from the side, you can see that my hands aren't being forced way back into an extreme range. They're kind of more up and in front of me a little bit so that when I press, my elbows don't have to go very far outside my peripheral vision. I can see my hands, my thumbs wiggling just in my peripheral vision the whole time. And I don't lose that. And that it's a kind of a classic cue of whether or not our hands are too far apart. I know that at Ultimate Exercise, Doug McGuff's facility, uh, that idea of being able to see your hands in your peripheral vision is a good way of knowing whether they're too far apart. So um, lifting the seat and bringing the arc of movement more forward by gapping the weight stack and then using this handle allows me to get just a slightly different variation on the shoulder press um, without aggravating the shoulders in somebody, again, who tolerates it. Um, that's it.